So welcome back, everyone. We are live on Facebook. Hi to everybody out there. We're going to share the show later on. My next guest has been on with me once before. I have with me Paul Gubin, and he is with VIP Mortgage. And today, we're going to be talking a little bit about reverse mortgages because you're a specialist in that. And I want you to tell everybody first off a little bit about, you know, the difference between what um, reverse mortgages are today than they were a long time ago because everybody had a little bit of a bad taste in their mouth but listen up everyone because they've changed and anyone who is how old 62 or older 62 or older or married to somebody 62 or older should listen up to this go ahead yeah so thanks for asking you know, the loan has really changed and matured over the time I have colleagues that have been doing it a bit longer than me tell me it's not the reverse of your parents generation uh, the underwriting there is now underwriting, I should say, so that you know, we're taking a look at the discretionary income that a homeowner has left over so they can do the home ownership, you know, pay taxes, pay insurance, and not be at risk for losing a property that way. Uh, the loans are securitized, the interest rates are extremely competitive, uh, and we're doing them on properties. It has to be for a primary residence only, as you probably know, but we're doing them on townhomes, FHA approved condoms, single family, double wide. So properties at FHA insurance. That's awesome. Here's the thing. I want people to understand more than anything. There are myths when it comes to this. And uh, the first question that you always get asked is what? What's the number one question you get asked? I'm afraid I'm going to lose my house. I've heard that people lose their homes because right. of reverse mortgage. Is that going to happen? No, it's not going to happen. That's one of the reasons the underwriting guidelines came in because when it was the previous way that they uh, offered them, Nobody was really looking at how much income anybody had left residual on their cash flow. A lot of retirees were really living on Social Security only, so it had a reputation of being kind of the loan of last resort. Mm -hmm. By doing, by taking a look at income and assets and realizing you're going to need a certain amount of money left over each month, I mean, you really need to do that, uh, depending on the number of people in the household, you're going to get a better borrower. You're going to have a better outcome so people can... They, they can look at underwriting though, they can maintain the property, the taxes have to get paid, right? Insurance has to get paid, HOA payments have to get paid, just as if you wrote a check and paid cash for it. Right. Now I want to also talk about people listening to this that have to understand that you, when you become uh, older and you your significant other one dies, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, this happened to my dad, that the, mm -hmm. the Social Security for them goes away too. And it's not something people think about always, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, ooh, that's a little bit interesting. I didn't know that was gonna happen. Or if you even did, it gets tighter. And he had a financial advisor, <clears throat> excuse me, that in 2010 when she passed, which these were different then, yes. they're so much better now, at that time told my dad, you know, you might wanna look into getting a reverse mortgage. And, you know, he thought, wow, this is a great idea. I think I will do it. He owned his own outright, so he was able to do it. And, you know, he didn't even ever use the money. Mm -hmm. It was really there for him as, like, peace of mind if he needed it, mm -hmm. right? It does give people peace of mind, but there's so many things. It's a tool today. It's different. Um, and I, I just am here to say, too, that out of people thinking, what's going to happen to the, the, the kids? You know, we, I don't want them to get hurt. We didn't get hurt at all. Right. Your father got good advice because what he really did, he bought that umbrella. You know, the sadness in his life, he bought the umbrella when the sunshine was out and he didn't have to tap into that money. Exactly. But at the end of the day, you're getting advice from your financial advisor and we're, we're living longer, right? So we're just taking a look at the amount of equity that you have in your primary residence. And based on your age, we're carving out a piece of that for liquidity, liquidity that you can tap into at any time for any reason. And yes, it gives peace of mind among among better cash flow, right. it and gives you peace of mind. He was older, like mm -hmm. 90, but people now, I know, he was. He did it then. Wow. <clears throat> um, I want to ask you, for people who are, mm -hmm. uh, that want to use them, what are the things that they can do with them? It's unlimited, and the, and the motivation would be, <clears throat> obviously, better cash flow. You're eliminating your mortgage payment if you're refinancing uh, where you live and you're aging in place in your current home. So you have the option, you're in control of the mortgage payment. If you want to make a payment, and pay the line down and create more liquidity, you can do that. 
but you're not obligated to make a mortgage payment at all. So what I know of a friend of mine who literally bought a home mm -hmm. with a reverse mortgage. Well, that's, a, that's another great opportunity. Uh, because of the maturation of the product, we're doing what's called HECM for Purchase, Home Equity Conversion Mortgage, and it's big with realtors now. It's an easier to qualify. And the real opportunity is when you're right-sizing, right? You could be moving up. I like it. Right-sizing. Yeah. Love it. That's what we call it, because you could be moving up in price, but really what you might be doing is living a lifestyle that you didn't think you could. Golf course, uh, lakefront property, things of that nature, mountainside, right? And you could take money from your assets, and usually you're rolling the equity from the sale of previous residence. And instead of putting all the money down to live free and clear, you could put a portion of the money down, and then the rest of it can be uh, taken up with your home equity conversion, right? And you've got the remaining proceeds to live, to put away and let your advisor grow, grow them as well as protect them. And you've got another safety net there. Here's my opinion that people need to find out about this. They need to sit and listen and have a consultation. You do free consultations with people. Absolutely. And you're licensed in five states? Right. VIPs in 42 states. I'm currently licensed, obviously, in Arizona and four other states. So the best thing for them to do is to talk to you because everybody's story is different. That's the other thing. Nobody has the same story. So the first thing is, is to tell them your story. What are your goals? What are you looking for, right? Is that what you kind of talk to them about? That's exactly what goes on. So the phone number to call is 602 320 6090. I'm going to not even bother with your website because I think we need to change that so that people can write it down sometime. Okay. But I'm going to go right to your phone number again. It is 602-320-6090. Call them, whether it's you or someone that you know, please tell them about that. That was, I love my show. I didn't say it today. I'm going to say it again. I love my show. You want to know why? Because it's great information that people get here. And it could be you yourself, and it could be someone that you know. Tell them about it, especially when it comes to these kinds of things for reverse mortgages. Because so many people have a lot of, um, they just, they, they well, like anything else. They don't know what they don't know, right. right? And they don't know how much they've changed. So I've kind of gone into a lot of these things with you, mm -hmm. but I want to talk a little about that. I, we talked a little bit about them buying a home. Um, I want to talk about... Uh, the people in the house, and let's say somebody who's married to someone younger than them, you know, because a divorcee and how a reverse mortgage works for them. Right, like a second marriage. So as long as someone is... Or a third. Yeah. Or whatever. So somebody has to be at least 62 years of age. If another spouse happens to be less than that age, it's, they can still be on the loan. Mm -hmm. And they can enjoy all the uh, opportunities that the loan will provide them. But let's say the older spouse passes away, or they are no longer living there as their primary residence. Maybe due to an illness, they can no longer uh, need home health care, won't work anymore. They've got to be in assisted living in somewhere else. That other spouse, the younger one, can stay in the home, and they don't have to make the payment, but they are not able to access any liquidity. Okay. Even if they've now gone past age 62 since they closed on that loan. Mm -hmm. What they can do now that they're past 62 is refinance and then open up uh, more equity if, if, given that the house has gone up. Okay, and when w w we have a couple, like a minute or so, yeah. right? What would be the second question that you get asked all the time? Hmm. How much can I get? You know, because they all go, I've heard I can get 50%, 60%, whatever, and it's an age-based product. A few years ago when rates were going down, so you look at the interest rate, the either sales price of the property or the value of the property, <laughs> and their birth date, and it's, it's tied into your mortality and your life expectancy. Well, when we come back, we're going to talk further, and I'm going to tell you one thing. Don't just talk to any mortgage guy. Yeah. That is really important, too. We're going to talk about that when we get back, because you want to talk about to somebody who specializes in these. These are different, <clears throat> so they need somebody who is educated on this. And you are your specialist on reverse mortgages. Write the number down. It's 602-320-6090. Hang tight. We're going to be back in just a minute. Okay, so we're going to break here. Wow. But we're live on Facebook, so we're going to keep on talking. Okay. Okay, that's kind of what's right different. Here? Just with me right oh, now because we're just in the room. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so you like what I just did to you? 
Oh well, yeah, I, I I I like it because it's it's a conversation. Exactly. It's it's it, just talk. Exactly. Like I like will, it better. Like you will with a client or someone on the phone. Right. Exactly. Yeah. That's a better way to do it, right? So just talking to me from here, and um, I think you know, to me, there's so much that they can learn from it, and I and I want that's what I want you to do is try and educate them right. out there. That's the important thing. And what, you know, how it would work, you know? I mean, what does it look like? What are some of the stories that you can maybe tell me? Do you have a story that you can come up with someone? I just talk with someone. Yeah, I can. That's Good, let's do it. If you want to ask about that, um, I just talk with a, yeah, I can. I can, you know, I haven't had a chance to talk with the person because he's a little bit incapacitated, but his good friend, they're calling the one officer that he knows, and they called me because he's 80 something years old. And he was a songwriter and he wrote some songs with Barry White. Nice. My dad's Neil Diamond, so you're not going to change me. But we know who Barry White is already. Right. That's right. Yeah. And so his brother, the gentleman's brother, is advocating for him. His friend is advocating for him. And he lives in Tennessee. And, uh, and he lives in a condo. And they're concerned about you know him being able to pay his bills and expenses. And he's fighting for some royalties. And, and you know, uh, oh, the, I see what you're saying. Right. Yeah. And so. And they are going, where else can we go and get, get some cash? That dad, he can take but well, he's got some nice equity in, in his condominium. Mm -hmm. But now it's, yeah, we're, we're, we're talking with uh, attorneys are coming in because is he, does he have the capacity to make decisions for himself and oh. things like that? And that's one of the downsides of waiting. Mm -hmm. Now he, may, he probably didn't know about this. And maybe his brother, his attorney, was like, oh, I've heard about this. He wasn't even considering that when it would have been really nice just to put in place for the rainy day. Yeah, exactly. And, and then as we age, it's there to access. Right. I mean, I, I agree with that. And I think, and there isn't anyone that I have talked to that has a uh, reverse mortgage that isn't thrilled. I'm glad you said that because we get calls from people going, hey, is there more equity? Can I get more equity in my home? Exactly. No, one, no one ever calls and says, I hate this. No, Nobody no does way. Because no. they love their lifestyle. That's right. Yeah. And, it, and uh, we're just going to go right to it. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's night and day. I know. Thank you. I know. It's just night I'm glad you're enjoying it. Here we go. reverse mortgages and yeah don't turn the dial you know why because they're awesome they really are and I had was, well we're talking to Paul Gubin who is a reverse mortgage specialist before we went on a break I was talking a little bit about um, not just going to any mortgage person or do your bank and whatever you need to really today go with somebody who is educated and a specialist and does them only go ahead tell them why yeah, thanks a lot at VIP. We have our reverse mortgage department that is nothing but reverse mortgages. So when you talk with me, I'm a VIP loan officer. It gets processed, it gets underwritten, the loan docs get drawn, uh, appraisals get ordered, and the loan gets funded in VIP's name. So you are working with people that are doing nothing but reverse mortgages for all 42 states that we are licensed. Now, I also said to you on the break, which I love talking to Facebook land out there and during the break because I get to learn a little bit more about everybody that's on the show. And I did say to you, I can't imagine anyone calling you and saying, I don't like my reverse mortgage. Everyone I've ever talked to that has a reverse mortgage all are like, I love it. Yeah, it's interesting. We don't have anybody calling and saying, I hate this thing. What they do call and say, hey, I'm new. I'm like, it's been six, seven years and I know values have gone up, but with interest rates, can I get more? Can I refinance my reverse with another reverse? And you can, as long as the values have gone up and the rates allow uh, any extension that we can do, we're happy to do what's called a heck of a heck of a reverse. It has to make sense and pass the smell test, right? What's the smell test? Well, you know, when you go in and, and, and underwriting's got to go, hey, you're drawing up closing costs, right? 
and you are now going back into underwriting and you're getting another appraisal. So you've got fees involved. It has to be uh, an absolute benefit to you, given your current situation, that we say, yes, you've got a, enough of equity to go into where the extension's there, and we'll go ahead and refinance the existing one. Now, everyone has their own story, mm -hmm. and that's why it's so important for you to talk to somebody who's a specialist, then you can talk to them and tell them, what are the questions that you ask your client when you start talking to them? Well, I ask them, have, what have you heard, first of all, about a reverse mortgage? Because I want to get the myths out of the way. If they've heard something negative, I would ask, do you remember who told you or what they said? And typically it's, no, I don't remember. I just heard they were bad. So that's one of the uh, issues I think that the uh, industry as a whole has to work better on, right? They're not getting the word out. And I believe, in my heart of hearts, it's doing it. Big disservice to seniors. I'm glad you're here to be able to do that. Yeah, it's really kind of if you're doing what I'm doing and you're advocating for seniors and for retirement. I agree with that. I mean, especially in your retirement. Look at the world that we live in today, and everybody, um, if you are living in your home and you're struggling in any way, you don't have to be. And especially with the economy the way it is, and with things that might be some changes, who knows what's going to happen mm -hmm. going forward right now. A lot of people have a lot of questions. They do. The other one, the big one is, you know, a lot of them, they want to leave something to their heirs. You know, that's, that's, they work hard in their life, and they really want to give, usually it's the house. You know, and it's usually their children or their child. And so it's hard for them that, you know, they've paid it off or they're paying it down. They owe very little compared to the value. And all of a sudden, you look at an illustration, if I don't make a payment for 10 or 15 years, the loan balance is going to go up because it's counterintuitive, right, to how we think. But I just remind them, over time, the house will go up. If not, you should be looking at something. I can't guarantee you that, that value in 10 or 15 years. But that's 120 or 180 monthly payments that we don't have to make. And our data tells us overwhelmingly that when heirs come in, it's usually children, they're not interested in the home and fixing it up and doing the utilities and maintenance. They're happy sell with just selling it and, and taking the equity and moving on with their life. Mm -hmm. And they're really happy with their mom, dad, or their parents just having a good life. Absolutely. I mean, and I, and especially in the last uh, several years where people live differently Very than we use it, right? And they're living longer. I mean, this is the scariest thing is running out of your money. So what we tell advisors and we're working with them is it's great to have another bucket to, to draw money out of, especially when markets are correctly. We're not going to go into the IRA and draw money down while it's correct. We have another bucket that we can draw from. You do free consultations, and his phone number is 602-320-6090. He's located, uh, well, he's uh, licensed, I should say, in five states, uh, does free consultations, but VIP is... 42 states. 42 states and they've been around forever Long right time. and when you I also want them to understand that it's all under one roof okay will you explain that to them because I can't I don't know the right word for them oh, okay. <laughs> so in the reverse mortgage space right so when you come in and work with us again we have a, a reverse mortgage department that does nothing but reverse mortgages so you're working with us no one's going to be not knowing what they're doing mm -hmm. they're not processing what we would call forward mortgages traditional loans that everything is no, it's the, it's the reverse mortgage product, and that's all we do. So let's talk about what happens at the end. Yeah. What happens to the um, the loan? Oh, uh, to the property at the end. Right. Yeah. So it's it's due, and I know all the, the rate, the uh, loan amounts are tied into mortality. But the reality of it is the loan is due when the last person on the loan is no longer living there as their primary residence. Mm -hmm. We tend to talk about mortality like when someone dies, but if the last person is still living, but they can't live there anymore, right? But no one can take care of them. Then you put the house on the market. You've got six months to sell the house. You, know, you call the servicer. And then if it, if it takes longer than that, you get two 90-day extensions. Okay. Right? As long as you're making your best effort to, to sell the house. Right. And we, I'm going to tell you, I mean, we put the dad, we didn't want my dad's house. Mm -hmm. It's out in Palm Desert, you know, in uh, Cal in California, wow. and uh, we put it up, and one day it was sold. Mm -hmm. We made a decent amount of money on it, you know, and the money happened to be already there. He didn't use the money, you know, so it happened to be already there anyway, so mm -hmm. we just paid that back yeah. no matter what, right? And so we still had the money. I mean, there's certain things. What are the qualifications? What Are, any, are there any? Yeah, there are. So uh, a, a borrower... Uh, really like to have uh, so much per household, per household member left over. So for one person, you need like $589 a 
of cash plus 14 cents a square foot for utilities. That has to be your residual income left over after your after your income. How they come up with 14 cents? You, you know, it's, it's kind of taking a, it's a great question, actually. I think it looks like they took it right out of VA's playbook, you know, doing VA loans, because that's how debts get called. Really? So much per household, and it varies in each region of the country, because utilities are different, property sure. taxes are different, and house values are different. We pull credit reports. I'm really glad you asked this. We pull a credit report. It's not a FICO-driven product. But any debts that are on the credit report, we have to count that as well. Okay. So like I said, the changes that were made were for the better. It's a better borrower, and it's a better opportunity for that loan to stay in place, you know, and, and, the, and the borrower really ultimately not to get in trouble with it and still afford home ownership. I'm going to implore anybody that's listening to this to call him. Don't call mm -hmm. a anybody, and don't certainly do not call somebody who is not an expert in them because they're very specialized. They are. And one other point I'd like to make while we're on the call line. This is what's called, Carolyn, it's very important, a non recourse loan. And what that means is this if that homeowner or homeowners happen to be in that product and it's still their primary residence, and they happen to live so long where the amount of loan that's owed, the deferred interest, keeps accruing, and the house value may come down, you may have another 08 situation, and then they're no longer in their primary residence. When they put the house on the market, FHA will eat any difference. The, 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 you cannot come after a borrower or a non recourse loan. I mean, you can't come after them for deficiency judgment. You can't come after their heirs. You cannot come after their estate for any difference. My ex husband mm -hmm. what is waiting. <laughs> um, I know you're listening, but whatever. And happy birthday, by the way. But what I want to say this that he um, was with for the mother to be when she passes right. because you know a lot of people in the when that crash happened mm -hmm. they lost a lot whatever mm -hmm. he's going to move in now he's going to own that house mm -hmm. he's going to get that reverse mortgage mm -hmm. right and then live out happily yeah. that's an I mean an option I know it's kind of this weird thing to think about it but it's you know it, 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 it's going to happen no matter what. It sounds like it's going to work out pretty good for a place for him to live. Wouldn't that nice for yeah. him to be able to live like that? He's been living now, let's say, in an apartment for a while because you know, things changed for him and, and the, what was it, the eight, uh, 19, uh, whatever that crash happened, the 08, 08, whatever it was. Yeah, so there's different reasons yes. to do things, and the only way you're going to find out is by having a consultation. Right? Everybody's got a story and find out whether it's right for you. That's a great point because it, it's not that I don't think it's right, but it's got to be right for you at the right time because it may not be now, but it might be a little bit later. Right, absolutely. And that's what that's what having that consultation and having it now and talking because you might need to work up to it, know what you need to do, mm -hmm. right? Just like anything else, yeah, especially when it comes to mortgages. I talk with people, I make sure you want to live here, you want to age your place. Then sometimes what happens is, Rather than aging in place there, they'll go, wow, I've got that equity, and I'll run a loan scenario if they were to buy a property in that range. And sometimes the refi, they don't do, but they do the heckin' for purchase because they didn't realize they could buy the house that they really wanted and the lifestyle with the equity they've got in their current home. The best thing to do is to give him a call. He does free consultations, and he is, excuse me, he's an expert in reverse mortgages. That's all he does. And the, in, within VIP, this is all they do as well in this particular section of right. what they do. We have a total mm -hmm. department dedicated to reverse mortgages, but they are very big in the traditional mortgages. VIPs well. run around forever. They have. Forever. Again, that phone number to call, write it down. Maybe it's for you or someone that you know. It's 602 320 6090. Everyone has a story. And the only way you're going to find out if this is right for you is having that consultation. It may be you. It may be someone that you know. If you're 62 or older, or older you have to own your home. It's for right? primary residence only. For a primary residence only, what are your final words? Uh, thank you for your time, first of all. And for financial advisors and realtors out there, uh, keep an open mind. Let me educate you as well because you could be changing someone's life in a way that you have no idea. His number to call is 602-320-6090. Again, that's 602-320-6090.